joining us on this again on this matter which we're dealing with briefly is a member of the leading member of the silent majority of Utah, Dr. Wilson Dabo. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Hey, you didn't add that he's an MPP member. Okay, uh, MPP well said. Member. Okay. MPP member, okay. so you understand. Uh, so uh, so, what? so yeah. why, why oh. did you take this part of the silent majority? Uh, Who are you? Silent majority of Utah. Who are you? Exactly. Yes, thank you. Um, when we say uh, the silent majority, we more or less are the backbenchers and observers of the activities of Utah. I see. And so, therefore, where we think that is wrong, we try to call to order. And you called on the leadership to call off the strike. Yes. As so that it will benefit was MPP. So, but what, Martin, what, what is uh, your problem? Uh, hold on. <laughs> so, so now that the strike has been called off, do you see any concern, reason in the concern that others have raised that Utah went on strike for a cause? The fight against illegal mining. Is there any significant progress made so far, Dr. Dabo? I prefer you call me Wilson Dabo. Yes. yes. Um, uh, we must uh, put it on record that uh, we, we actually had that conviction to go the way we, 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 we decided to go mm. based on the fact that we realized UTAC, the action taken by UTAC lacked some I mean, level of uh, procedural consensus okay. from day one into the declaration of the strike, and that has been our stage and therefore we so stand by that and once they have called off the strike yes. we believe that they have listened to the uh, majority of utac members and what were we what were we, what were we asking for we we're simply asking that they should come back to the drawing board because the fight against galamsey is not just uh, a, a, a strike but it takes a lot of dialogue and talking okay. to the people who matter in this whole uh, issue of Galamsey that's actually destroying our, our environment. And so therefore, how long are we going to remain, I mean, uh, uh, in strike? And we thought that that was a wrong procedure. We thought that that was a wrong action. We asked them to come back so that we will together uh, facilitate the process of I mean, dialogue with stakeholders, whosoever that so matter in this, for us to have a conclusive uh, discussion on matters of I mean, Galamsey in this country. Professor Hanso Jampo, um, as a leading we, we, we member of UTAC. We, we, don't, we don't have a lot of time, but I, mm -hmm. I, I, unfortunately, the earlier issues have taken um, um, the discussion. For, for the um, good. Mm. First of all, because he's a colleague, I didn't know he was coming here, right? He's, because he's a colleague, I would be charitable. But um, see, I don't see the basis for describing any grouping as silent majority. When you issued a press, uh, you issued a statement signed by 57 people. After, out of the 57 people, 36 were not UTAC members. Out of the remaining that were supposed to be UTAC members, 18 of them issued disclaimers. That you just constituted a WhatsApp group and then asked that they write their names and they are not privy to your intentions and so they are checking out. And then you compare this, so do the algebra and mathematics. You compare this number to oh, close to 3,000 people that voted. Um, and then you compare your, you, you describe yourself as silent majority. I don't, I want Ghanaians to just look at this. But the point is this, um, there's nothing like UTAG went on strike following procedural improprieties. I think that um, if uh, my colleague here really is following what happens um, uh, um, uh, in UTAG and he knows our constitution, um, time will not permit me because just three minutes. Um, we should go about reading our constitutions and then go back to look at the reason why or how we even took the decision to go on strike. So close to 3,000 people along, you know, across the 15 public universities voted. And why did we decide to go on strike? Maybe he doesn't know, but let me educate him that, look, in March this year, we decided that we would never be heard only when it comes to matters of our conditions of service. We would take on other national issues to ensure that UTAC also play its role as a countervailing authority, okay, within the body politic. So, in March, we brought about this issue of illegal mining, Galamse, irresponsible mining, and how these are leaving dangerous ecological footprints mm -hmm. on our environment, how they are causing kidney failures and all that. So, unknown to him, UTAC has met several times. We had issued press statements 
we had attempted to meet with government authorities. You mm. call ministers, you call officials, and they don't mind you. Right. Based on that, we issued several statements. That's way back in March. So, in the process of issuing these statements, are we not getting hurt? Around that same, around that same, later on in the year, I think government attempted um, this sale of um, SNIT um, hotels. Okay, mm, and yeah. you saw how we all came together to say government hands off that, and then so government backed off. Then we, UTAC, listen, we went to organized labor, not organized labor taking a decision. We went to organized labor, told okay. them that look, if we have this power to push government away. Right. from selling and um, selling this then let us marshal this the, that same power to force government not to make government unpopular not okay. to bend, um, make government unpopular and then play, do the bidding of any political party but let us put pressure on government just to ensure that government will do the need for to salvage you know the challenge in which we find ourselves we went to organize them and they bought into I the idea right now having bought into the idea in okay. the course of our deliberations and discussions with them, something happened, which I've already uh, explained, and because of lack of time, yes, well, let's, I, let's I, I cannot go there. So something happened, they said they won't do it again. And we said, okay, we came to okay. court your support, and you said you won't do it again. I said, okay, if that is the case, then we're going to do it ourselves. Thank you. And our members all across the country had voted, okay, to right. support that we should go on that industrial action. And so for anybody, any 57 minus 36 um, minus 18 group describing themselves as silent majority in comparing with um, over 3,000 people um, that voted, I mean, that's not with right. the greatest of respect to my colleague. That's not, I don't want to say it doesn't make sense, but it doesn't, it doesn't add up. Okay, and so, so it yes, is the, the unified the strike, front the that you are called, looking for. Of, Let's okay. see how we can work. Well, well, your attitude, is the, your it, attitude it, was very, 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 very,